With Mountaineer Offensive Coordinator Shannon Dawson, I'm Tony Caridi. A lot of expectations a year ago for West Virginia's offense, but the reality was there were so many players that were coming into the program for the very first time. A year later, familiar faces are now here. How much more comfortable do you feel? I, I feel much more comfortable. I think that if you ask any one of our players, the uh, answer would be the same. The development of players is crucial to a program. It's hard to develop players when they're not on the roster. And so having those guys here for an off season, I'm talking about everybody in general, receivers, everybody, but specifically the quarterback position, you know I mean? Clint's grown in a year, I mean, as much as anybody has that I've been around. So his understanding of the offense, his understanding of communication, relationships with myself and Coach Hogerson have improved. And so his ability right now is, uh, is off the charts. We're just trying to create chemistry within that first group. And, uh, and I think that's coming along pretty good. Fair to say that uh, you're sleeping a lot better now than you were a year ago? I don't know about that. Not during camp. You know, you get about maybe five or six hours of sleep. But, um, but I feel like with this group, you know, the confidence level I have in this group is extremely high. There's no uncertainty when those guys take the field. When you have that many moving parts that we played with last year, especially at the quarterback position, sleepless nights, no doubt. I have a level of confidence with this group right now and their ability in the future. Now, obviously, it's not a finished product right now but I mean I think that as we come along and we build chemistry I think the confidence is definitely going to be there. A year ago you ran the ball more than you threw the ball which is absolutely off the chart for what you guys yeah what you guys normally do. Um, you've got a bevy of running backs back there yep. and you've got as many as six really that you can go to. Is it realistic to think that you'll run it more than throw it this year? You know I don't know I mean we're going to get the ball to those guys in a lot more creative ways probably and so if you factor in screens we've probably always ran the ball more than we've thrown it. And so, you know, that room is extremely talented. j has done a great job of balancing out egos in that room. I think it's a very selfless room. Those guys are happy when, when the other person makes plays and they're very happy. You know, but, but it's our job as coaches too to, to keep those guys with, with touches. You know, we gotta, we gotta spread the wealth around a little bit with those guys. And so, with with saying that, I mean you gotta you gotta be creative too. I mean you gotta expand their role a little bit and be a little more creative with them. So I don't know about running the ball more, but I do think that that room will have more touches. With a, an increase in experience from a year ago, and the last question here for you, I would assume the tempo that you guys like to play with that wasn't uh, there much last season, you crank it up this year. Yeah, I mean you're gonna definitely see a difference in our tempo, and that, that's a, that's that's just the learning curve of, of Clint feeling more comfortable and not just Clint, you know, we got receivers that were the really the, the odd thing about last year is that not only did were we were we inexperienced at quarterback in our deal, we were inexperienced at damn near every position. And so I think with just those guys being together and that's one reason why we wanted to get that first group settled pretty quick is so the chemistry and the tempo could to, could keep go, keep progressing like we wanted it to. But I do think you're gonna see a change in that.